My name is Natalia and as requested, today I'm going to show you something very very special that I've been working on for the past couple of weeks And that is some matchbox cards, if you can say that And I've divided them into three different kind of levels, so easy, medium and then difficult or expert You choose what kind of level you want depending on what kind of card you want So the first level, which is the easy one, looks like this And then when you pull it, the seagull will spread its wings and tell you how much it loves you. Isn't that adorable? And there are so many ways of creating these first level easy mode matchboxes. It really depends on what kind of theme you're going for. So the second level looks like this, which is the medium level. Pull this tab here in the bottom and then the star will jump at you. And depending on what kind of theme you're going for, you can just decorate it in different kind of ways. And then instead of a star, add flowers, roses, gifts, whatever you feel like. Now the third one is of course a difficult level, so the expert mode, and it looks like this. If you play Pokemon Go, you know that this is kind of what you see when you enter the game and try to catch a creature or a Pokemon. So this little ball here moves and reveals what's inside. I love these kind of interactive cards. For example, for Valentine's you can create an arrow going to the heart inside. For Mother's Day you can create a flower going towards a bouquet of flowers inside. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Now, I would love to know what you want me to create next, so be sure to vote here in the poll above. And if you want to see some more of these kind of DIYs in the future, you need to subscribe to the channel. And remember to hit the bell button below so you don't miss out. So let's begin. Here's what you need for all these projects. <music> Tinkerific! Let's begin! Now take your matchbox and then sketch around it on some construction paper and then cut it out. Put some glue all over it and then glue it right onto the matchbox. Then make some sketches on some construction paper according to the theme you're going for. Glue your figures onto the outside of the matchbox and then decorate it. And don't forget to decorate it on the inside as well. Now when you're done decorating it on the inside and on the outside as well, close it up and then give it away. As I mentioned in the beginning, there are many 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 ways of creating these. It's just really up to you and your imagination. Now to create this card, Start out by covering your matchbox, just like we did in the first one. Now we need this star to pop out, and we need a spring for just that. And I've actually just used the spring from an old pen. Now decorate your box, both inside and out, and you can even paint it if you don't feel like gluing a lot of stuff onto it. This will also cause less friction, so it's easier for you to open and close the box. So take the inside of the matchbox, and then take some ribbon and then wrap around it, measure it up to how much you really need and then cut the rest off. Put some glue on three sides of the box, then fold the ribbon in half, then place the folded part right onto the bottom of it, and then attach the ribbon onto the other sides. You can either just tie a knot in the end or you can take the ribbon and just feed it through a bead. You can also use a tweezer to pull the ribbon out from the bead. And then just cut the excess part of the ribbon off. And remember to tie a knot on the bottom of this bead so it doesn't fall out. Now this pull and reveal or draw design should work. Now finish decorating it before moving on to the next part. Now measure 1 cm inwards from the inside of the box and then make a mark. Then take your glue gun and then put a droplet of glue right on the marking. Then quickly take your spring and then attach it right onto the glue. Then put the glue on top of the spring and then quickly add the star you've made earlier. Put some more glue on the back of this star and then quickly add another star. 
Now this popping matchbox card is complete. So get creative and make your own and then give it away. Now just like the previous ones, you need to cover your matchbox to get this project started. Now find the middle of your matchbox and then make a mark. Then measure 1 cm inwards from the edge of the matchbox and make a mark and do this on the other end as well. Now place the marking on the 0.5 cm on the ruler and then make a line that's 1 cm. And you need to repeat this on the other end as well. Now connect the two lines and create a rectangle. Now we need to cut this rectangle out, so use your box cutter to do exactly that. Please be careful! Don't worry, I'm doing my very best. Phew, that's good to know. Now take some ribbon and then measure it out according to the hole, but make it slightly bigger but not as big as the matchbox and then cut a piece off. Now take this piece and use it as a stencil for the next piece of ribbon. Now take your ribbon and then fold it in half. Place it on top of your matchbox and then take your scissor and then make a tiny cut in each end of the ribbon. When you've cut these holes, take your scissor once again and then cut along the folded line of the ribbon. Once that's done, take your tweezer and then start pulling threads. Try to do this gently and don't pull too many threads out. When one side is done, flip it over and then continue pulling threads until left with this false eyelash kind of ribbon. Now you need to continue this process with the other piece of ribbon and then you should have a pair. Now we need to close them up, so put some glue on the ends here and then fold it in half. And of course, do this with the other one as well. Now this is what you should end up with. Now we need to make a handle to make it interactive, so take your straw and then place it right into the hole. Then cut the straw half a centimeter from the lid. Now before moving on, decorate the matchbox and create a little figure that's going to act as a button for the handle. Now if you want to decorate inside the matchbox, sketch around it on some decorative paper, cut it out and then glue it inside the matchbox. If you want a small figure inside the matchbox, place a paper on your phone, sketch around the image you've chosen, then flip it and then use your pencil to just sketch all over it. Then place it on some construction paper and then re-sketch the image and then cut it out. Now we need to assemble everything, so take these eyelash kind of ribbons, then put some glue inside the matchbox right at the end of the hole you've cut. Then put the end of the ribbon right onto the glue and adjust it if needed. Place the other one next to it and get them close to each other. Put some glue on the other end and then attach the ribbons. Now the hole should be closed and the insides kept a secret. Put the box back together and then pull the insides out as much as possible without it falling out. Then place the straw right into it and if you're happy with the placement, pull it out and then mark where it stood. Now we need to glue the straw right onto the marking. So put some glue right on the marking, then put the box back together and then add the straw right onto the glue. To give the straw more stability, put some glue right into it and fill it up completely before adding your button. Press down to make the button stick and then leave the whole thing to dry completely. When it's completely dried, add the final details. Now the sliding matchbox is complete! As I said in the beginning, you choose the level you want and the matchbox to create. So get creative and then give them away! I hope you enjoyed watching, leave a like if you did and be sure to check out these DIYs here to get some more inspiration. And if you want to see the upcoming videos in the channel, you need to subscribe and be part of a lovely Tinker family here and then tell us toolbox. So subscribe and I will see you soon with more ideas. Bye!